We are children of light. We are to shine forth the glory of God for all men to see. We serve a God who is progressive in nature. He appreciates the result of his good works. You are a man and woman of authority and influence. You are not made to be stagnant. An assignment has been given to you to accomplish. You are not meant to be stranded, limited or struggling. Everything has been willed to you. Everything has been brought under your control. God in his capacity and by his ability has willed things and made provisions for all we need to succeed and prosper on earth. And as such, we have not been called to be stagnant or struggling. We are meant to produce results always. We are meant to do good, exercise influence, will dominion. It is therefore living in the opposite of what and why God created and made you a man or woman who has been given authority and power is not meant to struggle to have anything done. You have all it takes to climb high, prosper and make an impact and live a fulfilling life, bring men to God. What are those issues in your life that seem to be defying this law and mandate of fruitfulness and speed. It is not how it should be, and there is a solution to rewrite and change the narrative. Luke 10 verse 19. Listen carefully. I have given you authority that you now possess to tread on serpents and scorpions, and the ability to exercise authority over all the power of the enemy Satan. And nothing will in any way harm you. It is clear from this scripture that authority and power have been given to us over everything, but you can't exercise authority or power over what you don't know about or the giver of the power. You are currently struggling in life to have those things done because you don't have a personal relationship with God. He doesn't know you and you don't belong to the family. What you don't know about can't work for you. You must take steps today to be part of the family that have been given authority and power over everything. Do you want to see an end to the struggles you face every day? Struggle to have things done? Struggling to rise in life? You must acknowledge the God that gives power, the God that gives authority, the God that has given the word to make everything work for you with speed and without stress. Just like being a soldier, in a country gives you the license to carry an arm and can shoot an enemy. So also it is with live programming. You can't access things with speed or see things happen to your life with ease when you don't belong to the family that it has been declared over them. Take the step today and accept him as your Lord and personal savior and see how things would work for you and see how those things you have been struggling to do suddenly change and all becomes easy to do and accomplish. People perish. People suffer because of a lack of knowledge. In the book of Daniel, we were made to understand that Daniel understood by books that the years they were to spend in captivity is over but they were still in captivity and he began to pray to God for the deliverance of his people. Ignorance is not an excuse. You are struggling to have things done because you haven't studied the word of God and his promises. About that current situation you are facing and struggling in now, what is God's word concerning that? Are you struggling to make ends meet? 
what did God say about our going out and coming now? Are you struggling with health issues? What did God say about divine health for us? The Word of God is complete and settles every life challenge and having and knowing the Word and the promises of God is needed to end that struggle. You are currently struggling because you don't know the Word of God concerning that situation. You are not filled with the reamer. The Word of God is living and active and full of power, making it operative, energizing and effective. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating as far as the division of the soul and spirit the completeness of a person and of joints and marrow, the deepest parts of our nature, exposing and judging the very thoughts and intentions of the heart. The Word of God is the arsenal needed to access things with ease. The Word of God is the mechanism that nature understands. You have been struggling with things in life because you haven't loaded yourself with God's Word to confront those things that befall you. Study the Word. It fails not. Use the Word of God to address that situation that is making your life drag, stagnant, and full of struggles and without result. The spiritual controls the physical. You need to raise an altar so that the spiritual would back you up in all you do and grant you an uncommon and exceptional result and speed. Abraham, Isaac and Jacob were men of the altar. The secret of Jesus on earth was the altar. He never played with burning incense on his altar and he used the night to always burn incense. You must raise prayer concerning that matter. Revelations 5 Verse 8. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, Christ, each one holding a harp and golden bowls full of fragrant incense. Which are the prayers of the saints, God's people? Has your prayer risen to heaven like incense? Don't assume heaven is aware. You need to involve heaven by lifting up your voice to pray. When Daniel discovered that the time for their freedom has come, he went to God in prayer. He raised an altar to call on God and God responded from the first day he set apart and decided to call on God. When you sow, you would reap. That condition in your life that has kept you struggling and round the circle, you need to break out of that circle by sacrifice. Lay down something and watch as the door is opened for you, bringing an end to the struggle you have been facing in life. This is another root and method of God. End the struggle that has made your life by sacrifice. Change the narrative by sacrifice. Enter the ream of speed by sacrifice.